Hey guys, my name is Anthony Fontana. I'm a CPA with EA Tax Resolutions. And in this video, I'm gonna be going over what to do if you owe back taxes to the IRS. This video is geared towards people who are a little scared, a little nervous, maybe got some notices in the mail from the IRS, and really have no idea where to start in resolving their back taxes. We're gonna be going over the process to getting your taxes resolved and some options that you have. So if this sounds like you, stay tuned. All right, so the first step in resolving your back taxes is definitely easier said than done, but don't panic. I understand the IRS is scary. They have this reputation of coming after people and potentially they can, but here's something you need to know is there is help out there for you. Whether this is help in terms of a paid professional like me, where you can schedule an appointment with me with the link in the description below, or there's free help out there, i.e. like this video or my channel or other resources online that can help you with resolving your back taxes, or you can get free professional help so long that you qualify, but there is something called the Low Income Taxpayer Clinic where they provide free representation for back tax help if you qualify for the low income. Now, I will include a link in the description below. Be sure to check that out if you think you qualify and you can contact your local clinic. They are paid for by the IRS. There are volunteers as well. A lot of student help is involved here as well, but they are nationwide in the US. So if you think you qualify, be sure to check that out. All right, so step number two is if you are in collection, is to request a hold on collections while we try to resolve your back taxes. The way to do this is simply just give the IRS a call and ask. So we would ask, can we get a hold on collections while we file either missing returns or get on some type of resolution option? Step number three is we gotta determine why you owe these back taxes. We wanna make sure that you're not gonna continue chasing your tail with owing taxes moving forward. So whether that be you're not withholding enough taxes out of your paychecks or you're not paying your quarterly estimated taxes as a self-employed individual, we need to make sure we nip that in the butt moving forward. The IRS would rather have you pay your current taxes than your back taxes. So we need to make sure that is correct. I do have prior videos on either paying quarterly taxes as self-employed or proper withholdings from the W-4, links are in the description. So be sure to check that out if this is the case for you. Step number four is file all the missing returns. Before we get on some type of resolution with the IRS, they require that we are in compliance. This means that we file all the missing returns that we need to file. Now, if you don't have all the paperwork to get that done, i.e. W-2s, 1099s, you might've lost some things like that, this happens all the time. The IRS does have records of these. These are called wage and income transcripts. Now you can get the wage and income transcripts actually online rather easy, so long that you have an IRS account. Now creating the account can be a little difficult, but nonetheless, you can either get these online or if you give them a call, they will mail those to you. So again, they're called the wage and income transcripts and you wanna get those for each year that you need to file these missing returns to make sure that we file these returns accurately. All right, so step number five, finally, is resolving your back taxes. Now we have a couple options here. Option number one is to lump sum pay your back taxes. Now, this is, may sound a little obvious and probably not the reason you're here to watch this video. So if you can, you pay off your taxes in one lump sum. If not, on to the next. The second option you have to resolve your back taxes is through what we call an IRS offer and compromise. This is a tax settlement that you've probably heard on as a radio ad or on the TV as an advertisement where they say we can settle for pennies on the dollar. Now, is this true? It is, if you qualify. It's not one of those things where I get clients that tell me, hey Anthony, I got a few thousand dollars in the bank. If I just offer this, will they accept a settlement here? And so we can just call it even and move forward. That's not how it works. The IRS is the government. They got some government forms. 
that we got to fill out in order to qualify for this offer and compromise. There is a formula. Now, if you potentially think you qualify for an offer, maybe this is an option for us. I do have a prior video where I go through the details to see how you qualify. So be sure to check that out. A link is in the description below. The third option here is what we call the currently non-collectible status. Now this can potentially resolve or not resolve your back taxes. The reason I say this is all depends on your particular situation with the IRS. What the currently non-collectible status is, is exactly what it sounds like. They are not gonna be currently collecting on you. This lasts for about a year to two years and most of the time it just kicks the can down the road. It's not actually resolving your back taxes. So your taxes are still there. Penalties and interests are continuing to accrue, but the IRS is not coming in and trying to collect out of your bank account. Now this can be a way to resolve your back taxes if what we call the CSED is real soon. So CSED is collection statute expiration date. And if that is kind of close, then this is an option we can use to potentially get all of your debt removed. I will have a future video explaining more in detail how this works. The last option we have to resolve your back taxes is through a payment plan or the IRIS installment agreement. Now this is probably the most common way to resolve your back taxes. Depending upon the amount you owe and if you can pay within six years or not will depend upon the type of installment agreement that you receive. So if you owe under 50K and you can pay within six years, then we can do what's called the Streamlined Installment Agreement and you can apply online or you can fax or mail in the form 9465. Now, if you owe over 50K or you can't pay within six years, then we will have to provide what's called financial statements with the IRS form 433A or F and you will need to call the IRS to get on a payment. I understand there's lots of different scenarios to resolve your back taxes. Therefore, I will continue to make more videos to address each of these scenarios. So be sure to subscribe to the channel. Let me know in the comment section if there's anything you'd like me to address moving forward in regards to back taxes. Thanks so much for watching, guys.